I had a fun time playing it on the stream. It was pretty fun. I I was kind of surprised at how much I was getting into it, like from the beginning, just yeah. watching you. And then you you said it like almost as I was thinking it, which is you were like, "Oh man, this is like my shit." Like I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I'm, and I was like, "No, yeah, I'm I'm loving yeah. kind of everything that I'm seeing right now." Yep. It's it's um, it's it's dumb stealth. I don't know. There, there's something about it that just kind of hits for me. I don't know what it is. At least yeah. so far, um, I'm not that far in. So I'm about thirty percent through it as far as wow. like, the PlayStation desktop says. Okay, like, you know, which, which is yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, off. Yeah, but, yeah. right. Uh, it it tends to be fairly accurate. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it it tracks my progress in, El- in an Elden Ring playthrough pretty well. Okay. So so I I think I'm I'm pretty confident in saying that. I love it. Okay. Justin. Yeah. I had this when I was playing Unicorn Overlord earlier mm. in the year where I would just constantly be like, man, I love this game. Mm. Like just to myself, like right. out loud yeah, like, yeah, as yeah. I'm playing it be- because it is just firing on all cylinders for me in a way that I was not expecting whatsoever. Right. Yeah. Especially, you know, being a very much, very much a lapsed Star Wars fan. Right. Not for the reasons that a lot of people are lapsed Star Wars fans. It's actually a, a more personal than that. Like I... I tied a lot of personal shit yeah, into yeah, yeah. Star Wars over the last few years. You'll have that. It it kind of it kind of hurts to in, engage Go Star with Wars it. Right. anymore. But I think I think the thing to start off with, I was surprised at how negative people are about this game. Yeah. Overall, because because I'm digging it. Like even even like like people in our Discord were like, yeah, you know, it's like meh. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I I'm I'm. I must be playing a different game yeah. because this is this is absolutely not meh for me. But I think the thing that nobody can deny is it fucking nails that feeling of just being on a Star Wars planet. Mm-hmm. You know, I've only been I've only, I've only been on one planet so far, right. so I don't know how many there are to explore and stuff like that. Well, I guess two planets because you you have an open planet. You have an opening planet, and then you go to a different place, and you do a bunch yeah. of stuff on that. Yeah, and just like kind of that that overall like grit and grime to everything mm-hmm. all of the people milling about there is like a really great density of mm-hmm. npcs kind of going about their business and speaking in english or you know hutties or those other like weird star wars languages i think it, it accomplishes what disney was trying to do with that that disney crew or, or sorry that that star wars cruise that they had okay in the in the star wars hotel right, at right yeah World. yeah there they had like all these like actors that were supposed to kind of be immersing you in this kind of ongoing basically dinner theater that's, that's right. constantly happening this feels like that but much more involved and and realized in a way that, that i really appreciate Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I think I think me, like a lot of people, right, like Han Solo was my favorite character yeah. in, in the original movies. And it, he actually kind of made me f- fall in love with the lovable rogue. Right. Like that is that is always my favorite character in just about anything that I engage with. These right, days. right, right. I love that shit. Mm. K Vest is a really great entry into that world. And I love the fact that she's a nobody. Yeah. In it. And she's green. Yeah. And she's trying so hard to like bluff her way into yeah. things and failing miserably. It's and people like pick up on her bullshit yeah. right it's, away. It is, which is kind of fun. They're like, you, you don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? And and yeah. call her out all the time. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm hoping that like by the end of the game, you know, she is like more of like a like a really established like kind of cool as a cucumber mm-hmm. Mm-hmm type of person but but i am digging like even even now that I'm, I'm like a good chunk of the way into the main story she's like yeah i use these all the time no problem you know like that type of <laughs> right, thing. right 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 and it's it's kind of cool the way that they do like the 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 faction rep and stuff like that like yeah when, when, when you first brought up the 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 faction uh like reputation yeah screen, i was like oh man i'm getting such strong shadow of mordor vibes right now right. and i am fucking here for it yeah and uh and I like the way that you can play them off of each other. Mm. It is kind of cool where you'll like walk up and talk to somebody and they'll be like, no, you don't belong here. Like, like this, this is for high rollers only. Right. And then do some good jobs for some people and, and show that you, that you're someone that can be trusted. And then you like, 
I actually have an invite. And they're like, oh, right. No, we were expecting you. Come right yeah, on yeah, in. Yeah. And that feels really cool. Like, you really do feel like you're kind of immersing yourself right. into the Star Wars underworld. Yeah. I haven't gotten too far in since the stream I did. I did a little bit more after it. Like, I finished, like, the stronghold that I was on and actually had a great time with that. Like, because that was just like, okay, how do you want to do this? And I was like... I don't know. I'll try my best not to fuck it up. And <laughs> my, it was, and, and it was, kind of, I had a great time just kind of messing around. It's, it's dumb Ubisoft stealth, which I do like sometimes. Yeah. You said, you said it perfectly on the stream, which, which is, you were like, Oh, Oh, tall grass. Like, this is my type of stealth. Yep. I was like, yes, no, this is my type of stealth I en- as well. I enjoy yes, a sir. tall grass. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I enjoy whistling from tall grass and yep. getting a stupid person to come over and then knocking them the hell out. Yeah, it's the simple things in life that make me happy, and that that is yes. one of them for sure. And that and then they just lay there in the tall grass and nobody sees them, and it's 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 fantastic. I love that. I do wish, you know, and maybe this happens later on, but I, I wish that I had a few more tools in my toolbox. Mm, okay. For handling stealth stuff, I know a lot of it hinges around Nix, your your little yeah yeah your little buddy. But there's still things where I'm like, man, so one of the first story missions, like after where you're at, mm. you act- you actually kind of infiltrate this uh, Imperial like space station. Okay. And there were multiple times where I was like, how am I supposed to get past this? Right. Right. And, and I will say that like by the time, once I puzzled my way through part of it, I was like, you know what? That was actually... I feel pretty smart about that Mm. and this feels good, but I definitely was kind of butting my head against certain things because I, I I didn't really have more tools at my disposal. Yeah. Right. Where, where if I had like one or two other little tricks up my sleeve, I feel it like it would be a lot more fun to know, negotiate, but, but I'm like, Oh, that probably comes later. And I also think it should be, it it should be um, in my, it's, it's, it's not for everybody, but I love that. It's, it's kind of forgiving when you do get caught. Like, mm-hmm. um, there was one thing that happened on, on, I think it was on stream. Yeah, it was on stream. Um, it probably was after you were watching, but I, I, I did one of the animations on a staircase and it basically lowered I the person into the staircase and I stopped over there. I went, I actually love that, that it, because I've had games where it's just like, you weren't perfectly lined up with them. The animation doesn't play. It does a different thing. And now you're caught. And I'm, I'm like, no. I don't care if it looks stupid. Just give me the kill like it should have happened. Mm-hmm. That, like, th- that's dumb shit that I enjoy. Um, yeah. Also, like, when, y- when you do get found out and caught, it's not, like, the most punishing thing in the world. You're not, like, instantly dead. Like, you can definitely fight your way out of it and, and be okay. Like, at least in my yeah. experience. I, I Like, I got caught in, like, the opening mission. Like, I don't even remember what I did. It was something dumb. Um, but, but they set the alarm off on me and they just kept sending guys and I just kept shooting them and <laughs> going about my business. So I was like, I'll, I'll figure out how to turn this alarm off eventually. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I did a side mission that involved me in an Imperial, another Imperial base yeah. where, uh, things went tits up at the end and I ended up killing so many stormtroopers that I had like a full, like, I, I had such a high, like, mm-hmm. uh, wanted rating that they had sent a death squad after Oh, me. nice. And, and apparently you're supposed to go to the death squad, and there's, like, a, a terminal you can hack to, okay. to get out of it. But I didn't do that. I was just like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go back to the city. But they had stationed a blockade with a, with an ATST right at the, oh. at the uh, entrance. And I was like, oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. And, but, but what ended up happening was I just, I got, I died, and then it was fine. Okay, yeah. Which, I, I kind of wish that like I had to like deal with that. That would be yeah. You know, that that'd be a little stricter. That'd be but, fun. Yeah. But at the same time, I could see you getting into a situation where it's unwinnable. Yeah, so that's it. probably why they didn't do it that way. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's the like the stealth isn't perfect by any. Oh means. no, uh, no, 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 no. One of the things that I have noticed, which I really don't like, and I, I feel that this is a glitch, but it happens often enough to where I think it might just be the way the game is, mm-hmm. is. Let's let's say that like you're sneaking into an area, you knock somebody out. They don't. Nobody sees the person is knocked out. Yeah. But somehow everybody's a w- kind of aware that like something's going on. Yeah. And and they'll remark about that. They're like ah, something doesn't feel right or blah blah blah. And and then other times they'll just be playing like the alert type of 
barks from from the the enemies but they're not on alert oh right and, yeah and it, it, it kind of sets you on edge and it's like wait did somebody see me it's like no i'm fine yeah but they're they're talking as if they're on the hunt for right me, but they don't they shouldn't know i'm here at you know like that type of stuff yeah. you know feels a little little broken mm. but it's fine I, it's either that or it's like it has some sort of system where it's like i don't know the npcs notice somebody's missing or something but they, they don't know that they're actually missing but they feel like they're i don't know it's I, who fucking knows what it's they weird. did it's a little weird i did notice some of that when i was playing too so yeah yeah so it's weird because like sometimes they are like a lot more alert than other times mm -hmm. but for the most part the npcs are the right level of dumb that i like for a stealth game i agree and one of the things I did this uh, yesterday and I loved it where I, there was like a, there's these vents in Imperial places that will conceal you. They've got like mist coming out. Okay. Of them. And so there was a stormtrooper just standing guard in front of a door nearby. Or I crouched in that mist and I whistled. He came over. I knocked him out, but there's another stormtrooper nearby that was doing something else. Yeah. And he looked over and noticed that that door was not being guarded anymore. Yeah. So he just went and like took that position. Well, and I was like, well, okay, guys, we gotta do this. Yeah, again. I gotta do it again. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> fine. We'll do that. Yeah, and I, I've definitely done a thing where it's like, ah, just whistle, and knock this guy out, and yeah, knock you out now, and not, you know. But I love that. I yeah, I love that like dumb domino effect of like or the lemmings effect of just it's just, it's fun. Keep on coming, guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's it's fun. It's not for everybody, but it's for me. I love it. Um, shooting is 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 similarly serviceable. Yeah, it's fine. But 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 my thing with like with like Star Wars is that. The shooting in the in the movies is all because like laser like when I was a kid I loved laser guns. Mm -hmm. As I've gotten older, I find them a little bit boring. Yeah. Un unless unless you've got like Optimus Prime's rifle right. or you have Megatron's like fusion cannon, laser guns kind of just feel kind of pew pew piddly to yeah, me. Yeah, I get that. A and these guns all feel pew pew piddly to me, and it's like it. But but it it gets the job done. It, it's fine. Yeah. I can headshot real good in the yep. game. That so that feels nice. They give you like some different options, I think, too, for stuff like uh, different ammo types and shit like that that affect different things. If I remember correctly, like there's one yeah, for you, droids got, and like, shit. Your, your, your ion, ion ammo stuff, that, yeah, yeah, for disrupting stuff. And then you do you can pick up other weapons. That's probably my biggest complaint about the combat of the game, like the shooting stuff, is that you can pick up other weapons. Yeah. But the second that you do anything that involves traversal, as far as like, yeah, it gets rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's a really weird that is choice. kind of a I weird choice. Preferred... Yeah, you mentioned just kind of kind of offhand on your stream that it reminded you of like the Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raider games a bit. It did yeah, and it it, it does quite mm. a bit. And I wish that like it's like okay, as a scoundrel, you're not really supposed to be like whole like having a whole arsenal on you. right. But I, w I would like if I could actually choose like one addition. Yeah, that, that I, I, I agree. I, I I think it would be kind of fun to be, yeah. you know if you had like a little thing, or just a rifle or something on your back. I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it does lead and to like a, like a hitman thing. Maybe you have to choose like what you're gonna bring. Yeah, to yeah, you, yeah. Right? You can only carry one thing at a time, and if if you don't take it with you, it's on the ship. And you got kind of yeah, exactly. That would be. I think that would be pretty cool. Um but they didn't kind of do that. The only thing I would say is like, it does kind of lead to these fun moments in certain rooms where you're definitely going to probably fight something where, where I'm like, there was one where like in the stronghold that I got to, and I ended the stream at that you go up and like, basically everything goes wrong after you break into the stuff and you got to kind of fight your way out. And I remember I got down this elevator shaft and, and had Nick's go steal this gun that I seen while I was yeah. hiding from everybody. And then I just started fucking sniping everybody. I was like, oh, this, this is great. I'm loving this. This yes. is fun. <laughs> uh, so it does lead to stuff like that where it's like, oh, there's, there, there's the thing. There's my, my way out of this fucking situation is that gun right there. Um, mm -hmm. so I guess it does lead to stuff like that. Um, my my biggest complaint personally is I'm dumb when it comes to traversal stuff sometimes, and I don't look up enough. Um, I'm very bad at it, and but I, after a while of that happening, I started to get better at it. But sometimes I don't. The, sometimes I feel like it's a little like tough on me personally, where I'm like, I don't know if I can actually jump onto that thing or not, and it will grab on. Like, like right. there are, uh, there's one part of my stream where I think I spent like 10 or 15 minutes, um, going, what the hell am I supposed to do? And all I had to do was jump across this thing. And it was a climbable thing that I could do, 
but I was like, yeah, that looks like if I do that, I'm going to die. Right. Like I'm like, I, and so I'm doing everything else around it, like trying to figure it out. And then eventually I'm just like, this is the last thing I can try. Let's just, and then it grabbed, I was like, Oh my God, I feel so fucking dumb right now. But, and after, I, after you do that once you, then you start going, okay, I think that's climbable. I guess we just give it a shot. I had that exact same thing happen to me mm-hmm. in that Imperial station that I was talking yeah. about because there's a place where it's like, okay, I can see where I need to be past this spot, spot but I can't jump to here from right. there and I don't see a thing to swing on. And I was, and I noticed that like off to the left, there was like a ledge, mm-hmm. but when I would jump to it, I would get there. There was also like a deflector shield, like, uh, like past the ledge. Right. And if I jumped to it, I'd hit the deflector shield, bounce off of it, and then and fall. Then fall. Yeah. But that is what you have to do. You just have to jump shallow enough to where you hit, you make it to the ledge, but you don't hit the the barrier and it, it was super not clear yeah. and I was, I was there for like a good 20 minutes yeah. before i figured out what i had to do uh and even then once i got past there i was like wait but now what do i do like there there were multiple there's a like lot that. of but stuff again, like that yeah what once i figured out like what i was supposed to do i was like oh you know what that i really did have to like plan and think about right where i needed to go next yeah. and stuff and and that's kind of what you want for a stealth yeah. game right uh, and it is more of a stealth game than anything probably so far, yeah at least I, for me. I agree yeah i i, I mean even the, the stuff that i played is is like that i there is some of the like you know go into town get a job and then you know go do job or you know go buy guns or upgrade or upgrade you don't buy a gun you upgrade your gun or upgrade mm-hmm. your ship or whatever the fuck i haven't really got into a lot of that stuff yet but um, I, like I said, I'm fairly, I, I basically did that stronghold, did a, did a couple other things and then was like, okay, I'm going to go back to like a dragon right now. Cause I'm just, I got to finish that before I get real into this one. But I, I, what I played, I had a really good time playing. I lo- Oh, I, another thing I love in it and it's stupid that I love it, but I love the lock picking mini game. I don't know why I it's love it. Good. It's a good lock picking mini game, at it, but it's real good. I, you know, you know what? Um, when I was on stream, at first I was like, "What the fuck does this want from me?" And then I and then I figure it out. And I'm like, "Oh, oh, that's kind of it's a rhythm game. That's cool. I like that. All right." And then I got real into doing it. And um, when I played it the second time, I didn't have headphones on, so it was a little bit harder to hear where the beats were. And I was like, "Oh, I, uh, this is a little bit tougher now that I can't actually hear it." Because when you have headphones on and you're playing it, you can hear all the little clicks that are going off. Like I can hear the beat, yeah. and I'm just like, "Oh yeah, no, got it." Boop, 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 right. But when you when you can't hear it just perfectly, it gets a little bit tougher. And I'm like, "Oh, okay, so this is, this might be a little bit of a thing." But we'll just turn the TV up, I guess. It's fine. Yeah, and I and I'm playing it on PS5, mm-hmm. and I'm using my headphones for that. But also, it's using the haptics. I believe as it as well as most Sony first party stuff does. Yeah. And and so it helps for the mini game, but also it's like, you know, you feel Nick's when, when he like hops on ah, you and stuff cool. like that. Like they use it a lot. That's cool. I mean, I mean, it is I'm burning through dual sense charges, but it's it's worth it. Like I, I really I wonder dig if it. I can hook that up to the PC and then it'll do it. Probably not, but I'll try. <laughs> yeah, you, should, you should give it a shot. Yeah, why not? Um I I I, I love Nick's. I think he like, he's, I was I was instantly smitten, He's fun. Like when Yeah. Yeah. That dude, I know you haven't been there yet, and and I think there's more than one of these. Yeah. But there, there's a there's a like place that you can eat. Okay. In uh in the first city, where it starts and it, and it's like full on monster hunter flourish. Okay. With, with like the chef and everything, and then you start eating. You sit down to eat with Nix, and it goes into like a quick time thing to like you you're like doing quick time things for when you eat and when Nix eats. Okay. And then it continues, and then it continues some more, and it keeps going, and you think it should be over, but it keeps going, mm-hmm. and then you really think it should be over, but it keeps going, and I was like, people are going to hate this, but I am so <laughs> in. This is so dumb, All right. and it's so adorable. Like, like it really does like kind of make you, like, help you bond with, with this little crib. Right. And you do get something for it at the end, but but it's just like... Wow, y'all went for that mm, mm-hmm. in in a, in a way that I appreciate. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> like that. You have my respect. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I I would like to to conclude my own personal bullshit by saying I don't give a shit about Star Wars. Like I just don't. 
Um, but I had a, I'm having a pretty good time with the game. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's, it's, I like it so far. It, and again, it really does come down to a lot of the vibe. Yeah. Like I, I love the way that, uh, you, you unlock a lot of like side quests, which is just listening in on people's conversations mm. in town. Sometimes someone will flag you down once, especially once you start to get some notoriety, yeah. like they'll be like, Hey, you seem like someone that can do this job. Or you'll find a data pad that will find some information right. for I, you. Right. I've had that happen a couple times, yeah. Yeah. I also think the game is, like, really gorgeous. Like, a lot of people were talking a lot of shit, like I saw online, about, like, character models and stuff like that. But, like, the lighting is glorious. Yeah, I thought it looked like, fine, honestly. Yeah. I'm I'm really kind of digging everything that it's putting down. Yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And, and, and the thing is, I've got a big smile on my face the whole time that I'm playing it. Yeah. Which is... Which is really nice right. yeah <laughs> i agree I, I i i've liked what i've played so far it was it was better than i thought it was going to be i went in kind of being like i don't know what this is going to be like this is either going to be okay or you know whatever and then i got in there i was like i'm actually kind of like this a lot more than i thought i was going to because i actually i think i went in intending to be like i'm probably going to make a lot of like i don't know anything about star wars jokes and everybody's going to be mad at me and that's fine that'll be funny um, and then, and then I was kind of like, oh no, I'm actually kind of into this. This is kind of fun. Um, yeah. so yeah. I, and you know, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that, oh, well, one thing is I kind of, I kind of, I get it right. Because like mm -hmm. you, 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 it's kind of like a, a surrogate Han Solo story that you're trying to tell, Yeah. but I would really love it if you're like, no, I'm, I'm just a fucking criminal mm. and I don't really care about helping the rebellion because i'm a criminal like like i, I would love it if, if it was a little bit more gta i got gotcha. you you yeah. know like like i i wish that like you could commandeer like other vehicles that you see like zipping around that'd be fun like that. yeah and, and i and i wish that like we're not i'm not there yet but but i hope that you have more opportunities to just kind of be like a, a scumbag like you, and that's like this is, i it's funny poor starfield this game is doing so much more for me to yeah. like live out my my scumbag Han Solo dreams that I tried to do in Starfield, right, right down to like the ship combat, like being more fun and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I do hope that like it, I I'm not forced to take that turn of like, well, now I'm a hero, and it's like, but you know, I get it, it is a Star Wars story, for. so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, that that Star Wars Outlaws it's, for now. Yeah. I will have more to say about it next episode for sure. I might have more to say about it. It's it's po very possible. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely think you should. Keep oh, I do. I, I definitely like, want to. I I, I want to finish like a dragon first, which I'm uh, very very close. I, yeah, you'll have that done tomorrow. Probably. Yeah, it's quite possible. Yeah. yeah. 